Hi there folks, Borislav247 here with another Days Gone Challenge Mode video. And on this video I am delighted to be able to show you all a fantastic way in order to get a silver score on the Survive Challenge quickly and easily. And I will stress the quickly part because anyone who's played this challenge will know only too well just how long it takes in order to get a gold score on this bad boy. Now, I'm just going to go on to the next page, and this is what you're basically working for. And as you can see on screen, this patch perk is called Medicaid, and basically it is all to do with the health items, because any health items that you pick up and use within the challenges, or more importantly in the main Days Gone game, are all of a sudden 10% more effective when you have a silver score from this challenge. Now it's worth noting that if you do happen to get a gold score on this challenge, all of a sudden the Medicaid patch perk becomes 15% more effective for health items, as opposed to the 10% that you get with a silver score. But trust me when I say this folks, if you're going for a gold score, you're going to have to work for quite some time in order to get it. This challenge can be very stressful, it's one of the hardest as well to complete to a gold standard, and it will take you anything from 17 minutes to 30 minutes in order to get a gold score, depending on how you play it. But when you follow the method that I use in order to get a silver score, you'll get this job done in around 2-4 to four minutes. It's easy, it's quick, and it is incredibly stress-free. So, without doing too much more talking, let's just get to the action. This is how it is done, folks. Okay, here we go, and I basically look to start my run in the same way as most people probably will. The first two Marauders I am looking to take out with stealth kills. So at this point, I'm not even bothering looking to try and get any scrap out of the cars because it simply will not be required. So that is the first two out of the way. Now at this point, I'm looking to pick up the gun. I can see the next wave of Marauders spawning and I'm looking to get as far away from them as possible. All the action centers around this graveyard uh, section here. And basically, when I see the Marauders spawning, whatever side they're spawning from, I'm always going to the other side, because there is always bushes. And the whole concept of getting a silver score quickly and easily is all about the stealth kills. Because I am looking just to get six stealth kills in total. And you will see, they have no idea at this point where I am. Even after I've taken out that one, because they are so far away from me um, and they're not coming at me in uh, bunches here, I can potentially get the first five of the six kills that I need. And although they are taking their time and getting over to my position, the one thing I will assure you of is they will always find you. That is guaranteed. They do take their time in doing it sometimes, but they will always eventually walk over to your position like this. And there we go. As soon as I see that prompt, it's all good. In fact, what I normally do is, folks, I start mashing the triangle button round about now. So as soon as that prompt appears, Deacon is straight into action. You're guaranteed that you'll get the uh, stealth kill nice and easily. So at this point, I can see where the next uh, lot of Marauders are spawning on the minimap. So I'm moving to the other side. I make a point of firing the gun a couple of times just for misdirection. They will head over to where they heard the shots from and that just gives me time to get set up here and that's it this is all good i'm just basically waiting now for them to come over to this position eventually yeah and that marauder is a slut <laughs> and you just know what's going to be happening here now that she said that she is probably the one that is going to get knifed no maybe not Oh, yes, maybe so. <laughs> when you were one mate, I stick it to you, dear. I'm pretty sure that was not what you had in mind. <laughs> okay, now that I have the six kills, what do I have to do? Absolutely nothing. I just have to let the Marauder kill me, and I'm going to get a silver score. It's as simple as that. So, one more hit should do it. 
and there we go i'm going to pause the video right here because when the challenge complete screen comes up you may not even see this hitman bonus appear because it does come up very quickly but this is exactly how you get the silver score basically folks in a nutshell you have to kill the six marauders using stealth only and this is hugely important and for two reasons the first one is basically all to do with the sub challenge called silent night this requires you to take out six marauders using stealth when you do this you will get 6000 bonus points by taking out the sub challenge to a gold standard but most importantly of all the hitman bonus can only be activated if you take out the marauders using stealth so basically if you try and take out any of the marauders using gunplay or try and take out any of the marauders using melee weapons or even try and take out a marauder using the knife but not by way of a stealth kill then you will never see that hitman bonus it all has to be done using stealth but when you do this is the fantastic result that you can achieve Basically, the 6,000 extra points that you get from completing the Silent Night sub-challenge to a gold standard, along with the 6,000 points that you get from the Secret Hitman bonus, these will give you the 12,000 points required in order to get a silver score on this challenge. It becomes as easy as that, folks. Now, I am going to take the time to show another two runs where I take out these Marauders using stealth because I do employ one or two different strategies depending on the directions, basically, of which the Marauders come at you from. But before I go to the next run, I want to give a huge shout out to the gent who actually discovered the Hitman bonus for this challenge. Because although I've discovered many of these secret bonuses on various challenges, the Hitman one for this uh, particular challenge, I did not discover. Uh, the gent in question who did uh, goes by the name of Lucas Knight. So Lucas, thank you so much for this discovery, my friend. Because if it hadn't have been for your video that I was watching where I discovered this Hitman bonus, which you accidentally uncovered, I would never have been able to have made this video where I could show how to get a silver score on this challenge so easily. So thank you. So now that the explanations are taken care of, let's get back to the video feed where I will actually show that I have indeed got myself a silver score. And there we have it. When you take them out like this, that is a score that you will get every time. 12,600 points. And there it is. That is the silver patch perk for this uh, challenge unlocked. So coming off the main challenge page, I'm going to go into the setup just to show the fruits of my labour here. And there we go, 10% health item potency. And that is for two to four minutes of easy work on this challenge. It doesn't get much better than that, folks. So I did promise two other runs, so let's show them now. Right then, here we go again. Now, as always, the first two Marauders really aren't too much of an issue to take care of. They usually present themselves uh, very well. Once I've got these two taken care of, I'm looking to see where the next wave of Marauders are coming from. And because they're coming from my left, I'm heading over to the right. Again, I'm looking to get over to this area here. I'm just going to hide and I'm just going to wait. Now, given that... The next lot of marauders here yeah they're coming up together and this is why i wanted to show another run like this because you don't always get as lucky as what i did with the first run i'll just about guarantee that once i've taken out this marauder here i will be recognized yes i am so at this point what is the plan it's no problem i'm just running away heading down this way and i'm just going to the other side of the graveyard i am going to employ this every single time I'm just looking to get out of their line of sight, and as soon as I am, and I get into a bush area, that is it. Um, basically, they will eventually come over to you, but r at this point in time, they do not know exactly where you are, so I have lost them. It does take up a little bit uh, more time doing it this way, but 
it doesn't matter. It's still completely safe. You'll be lucky if, come the end of this run, it'll have taken five minutes in total. And here we go. Now again, I have been discovered, so I am going to have to move. So at this point, what I like to do is, there is another bush area there, but there's no way I'm going to be able to hide in that spot there, because I will be seen. I'm just looking again to run right up to the very far side up here. And this should do the job nicely. Now, <laughs> at this point, I am not 100% sure whether this marauder has actually seen me or not. He's got to be here somewhere. Yeah, at this point, now I know I'm good. <laughs> Very nice. Again, that is the, the five of the six that I require. And I'm looking again just to see where they're coming from. Very nice. Again, I'm just going to get a shot off there. That will attract them to that area. And it gives me time just to head over here. There we go. Managed to get out of their line of sight. And I'm just waiting for the first marauder now that comes my way. And this job will be done. Now then. While I'm waiting for the Marauders to come over here and to get my last stealth kill, it's worth pointing out about something else that can actually negate the Hitman bonus. And it all happens after you have the six stealth kills, because you're still not guaranteed to get the Hitman bonus at this point. You can let them hit you with the, the butt end of uh, the weapons, you can let them throw items at you like this, but the one thing that you cannot let them do is to grapple you and basically grab your arms where they put your arms behind your back and another marauder attacks you. If that happens, you will not get the Hitman bonus. I don't know why, but it's just one of these strange things that uh, basically stops the bonus from appearing, so it's worth knowing about, folks. Right then, on to the third and final run. And this run I wanted to show because there is another strategy that I employ that is fantastic to use, and I just want to make sure that everyone's aware of it. Uh, but first of all, I've got these two marauders to take care of. Never an issue, because they're pretty much oblivious to everything. At this point, I want the gun, and that's it. I'm looking for the next wave of marauders, and unusually, they're coming from that direction. So, I like to head over here, make sure to get out a shot, and then from here, heading over to my uh, favourite area to start off the stealth attacks. Because when they come from that particular direction that they just have, if you do what I do there, you are guaranteed you will get hidden. Because they're heading straight towards that tree area that I was firing in, so they're not looking over at this section whatsoever. So, again, just waiting for the first one to appear. And it probably will just be the one killed here because the other one is, yeah, incredible close. There's no way you couldn't have possibly seen there what was going on. But here is where my new strategy comes into play. I'm not heading to go to the very top of the graveyard area. I'm heading right over here. This area is fantastic because when they're attacking you from my previous position, when you run up this way, all of a sudden you're not in their line of sight. And as soon as you have lost their line of sight. That is it, you can hide, and this spot here is fantastic. So at this point, again, it's just waiting. And I'm actually going to get lucky here. I can't believe it, but that guy did not see me. Now, very nice. Just waiting for the next uh, lot of marauders to spawn. Yep. So again, I'm going to get one shot off, and then I'm going to head over here to my favourite position. Now, I'm not 100% sure whether I'm okay at this point or not. I might have been seen. Yeah, I have. <laughs> so again... Not a problem, I'm just going to employ the same strategy as what I used before. I know definitely when I get to this spot, because they are where they are, that I can get to here, and that is it. Now, 
they don't know where I am. This is an unusual problem that's presented itself because normally I like to mash the triangle button as they start to get close. But of course I'm right beside a weapon and the triangle will pick it up so I'm actually having to move back a touch just to make sure that when whichever one of these marauders comes over to me that basically I will get them as soon as that uh, triangle uh, prompt appears. And there we go again. This run is now just about done. And as long as one of the Marauders doesn't grab you, they can kill you in any other way that they like, and you are guaranteed you will get the Hitman bonus. And there we go, folks. That is the three runs shown, and that is also the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Take care.